All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior, Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me, and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, September the 12th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week three in the Psalm cycle and the scripture for this service, Psalm 60 and Philippians chapter two, verse 12 to 30. Our help is in the name of God most high, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault in thoughts and words and deeds and in what we've left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the almighty and merciful God forgive us all our sins in Jesus' holy name. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O God, you have cast us off and scattered us. Alleluia, Psalm 60. Alleluia, O God, you have cast us off. You have scattered us and been displeased. Take us back again. And you have made the earth tremble and broken it. Repair its breaches, for it shakes. You have shown your people hardship. You have made us drink a wine that dazed us. You have given a signal to those that fear you to flee from the bow, that your beloved may be delivered. Save us with your right hand and hear us. You have spoken in your holiness and said, I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter. Moab is my washbowl. And over Edom I cast my shoe. You triumph over Philistia because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O God, which cast us off, and you, O God, which did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of mortals. Through you we shall do valiantly, for you shall tread down our enemies. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, you have cast us off. You have scattered us. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 12. Therefore, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and arguing, so that you may be blameless and innocent children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, in which you shine like stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ, that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. And in the same way, you also must be glad and rejoice with me. 
I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, so that I may be cheered by news of you. I have no one like him who will be genuinely concerned for your welfare. All of them are seeking their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. But Timothy's worth, you know, how like a son with a father, he has served with me in the work of the gospel. I hope, therefore, to send him as soon as I see how things go, and I trust in the Lord that I will also come soon. Still, I think it is necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and co-worker and fellow soldier, your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing for all of you and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. He was indeed so ill that he nearly died, but God had mercy on him and not only on him, but on me also, so that I would not have one sorrow after another. I am the more eager to send him, therefore, in order that you may rejoice at seeing him again and that I may be less anxious. Welcome him then in the Lord with all joy and honor such people because he came close to death for the work of Christ, risking his life to make up for those services that you could not give me. Here ends the lesson. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, deliver us from all danger, and lead us to triumph over all that is evil. Keep us always in your tender mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>